Well, good morning again, Daniel Valdez again. It is a pleasure and honor to talk to you. Thank you so much for listening. I really, really appreciate it. We got to do the nerd in again three times this week. We did Texas Marching Classic. We've done uh, Midland Regional. And now we got to take care of Dallas Fort Worth. The regional championships for Bands of America are presented over there. Uh, BOALive.tv, you'll be able to watch the entire thing online. Get over there, get an account, get the pro pass, do everything which, which you need to do. You're going to want to watch this event. This is, this is top shelf stuff right here. Uh, Texas Bands live blog will be in the stands. They will be holding everything down, doing the live blog thing. Of course, that's on the stream as well. We'll have links if you're not able to, to watch on BOALive.tv. But if you're watching online, you can just scroll down a little bit. You get reviews from pretty much all the events that were that were pretty much all the Bands of America Regional Championships. So uh, uh, check it out. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, that live.txbands.com will be able to uh, you'll be able to look at the live blog and then get commentary and all that fun stuff as it happens. So without further ado, we need to get to we got a lot to talk about here. Let's get through it. Let's knock it out because I'm looking at the list of accomplishments for all these programs and my goodness, <laughs> there's some, uh, there's some, uh, there's some accomplishments we got to go through. So this may, this may take a little bit. So, uh, so, so get comfortable, ladies and gentlemen, back at DFW, spent some time there recently for work. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the nerd in. We are at the Bands of America Dallas Fort Worth Regional Championship presented by Yamaha Corporation of America, October 8th, 2022, Pennington Field in Bedford, Texas. 24 bands will be, will be in prelims. 12 of them are going to finals, and one of them is walking out of here with the Dallas Fort Worth Regional Championship. Give me the schedule. We are starting off the bat at 8.15 with a program that everybody knows. But they're performing for the very first time at Bands of America Contest, so we welcome the Scots Highland Park High School coming down. Uh, former silver medalist at state contest 5A in 2019. Always fun shows, always plays well. Lots of lots of good stuff with this program. So uh, so get there early so you can watch them. 815 Highland Park. They were at the state marching contest last year as well. 8.30 a.m. Another state marching contest finalist. They're actually the silver medalist for UIL state contest in class 3A. That's the Whitesboro High School Band at 8.30. Then at 8.45, we have another UIL state contest finalist, Wakeland High School, 8.45, the unofficial marching band of HEV. The reason I say that is because that drum line woke up super early a couple of Wednesdays ago and played for the HEV Frisco opening, which I helped open. They were fantastic. So I'm giving them that hashtag Wakeland High School. And by the way, the band's really good too. Uh, 845 Wakeland High School. Alito at 9 a.m. They are a 5A state finalist from UIL. Are we getting the point here? This block's pretty heavy. A 5A state finalist last year, Alito High School at 9 o'clock. And then 9.15, again, another premiere, another first-time program performing at a Bands of America Regional, presenting China Spring High School. They were a finalist at UIL State in Class 4A last year. So you have five programs. All of them made state finals last year. <laughs> all of them. And uh, Whitesboro uh, with, the, with their several medals. So that's a, that's a heavy block right there. So... So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty intense. And that's just the first block. We take a break after China Spring at 915. Then we come back at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. with one of my favorite programs presenting the bronze medalist from 6A State Marching Contest, presenting the super regional finalist, the national finalist, and the five-time former state champion, Marcus High School. We pivot. I got my shirt. I've got the drum major shirt. I've got the John Bone shirt. I've got the I've got the show shirt. I've got it all there. Marcus High School at 10 a.m. They will not disappoint. 10:15 is Waller High School, and then at 10:30 the hits just keep coming. At 10:30, the reigning defending super regional champions, the reigning defending UIL 6A state marching band champions, and the reigning defending TMEA honor band. Club 499 is in the house. That's a 1% reference right there. 10.30 a.m., the one, the only, the Hawk Band from Hebron High School. Can they do it again? <laughs> I don't think they're done doing stuff yet. <laughs> 10.30 a.m., Hebron High School. I don't know why they always go on in the morning. 
<laughs> I don't get it, but f- fine. <laughs> 1045 is Trinity High School. 11 a.m. as Lone Star High School. They were at the state marching contest for 5A last year. And then James Martin at 11.15. And then we're going to need a long lunch because those two blocks are just mammoth blocks there. So we take a lunch after James Martin at 11.15. We go to 12.15, Waxahachie High School. They were at the state marching contest for 6A last year. 12.30, Rick Reedy High School out of Frisco. 12.45 is the super regional finalist. The uh, state finalist, Keller High School, always, always solid at 12.45. At 1 o'clock, we've got... A state finalist from 6A contest last year. We got a program going to Grand Nationals this year. South Lake Carroll, very, very big year for them. They're starting it off here at the DFW Regional, so they're at 1 o'clock. Pay attention. Rock Hill High School was a Waco Regional Finals last year. They're at 115. Tibber Creek was a state marching band contest participant last year in 6A. They're at 130. And then 145 is L.D. Bell High School. 145 L.D. Bell. And their home turf, on their home turf. Uh, we take a break then, and then we go on to 2.30, Lebanon Trail High School out of Frisco. They were at the state marching contest last year for 5A. Always a good program, always play as well. 2.45, the Super Regional finalists, the state finalists, they went to St. Louis. They did Super Regionals there. They just went, they, they, they did so much last year. It was such a great program with the Color Guard and Drumline and, the, and, the, and the, those powerful wins. 245 Capel High School. They did everything last year, and they're definitely not done yet. 3 p.m. is Iowa Park. 315 is Brock High School. 330 is Crum High School. And then 345, I am presenting the reigning defending DFW regional champions. I'm presenting to you the state finalist. I'm presenting to you the national finalist, the former state champion. Outstanding music performance at national finals last year. They do everything. They do every. This is this is a this is a marching band nerds band, if I can put it like that. Flower Mound High School Super Band coming out. I can't wait to see what they've got in store this year, and I want that comic book. I gotta have that comic book. Somebody send me a link. I will pay double whatever they're asking for. Three forty-five Flower Mound High School. Then at four p.m., University of North Texas is bringing the Green Brigade down to perform in exhibition. I know the kiddos are gonna absolutely love them. They've taken a new direction with their program, and they are fantastic. So, be in the stands for the University of North Texas Green Brigade as they go on an exhibition at four p.m. You look at this list and. I mean, it took a little bit longer than normal for me to get through the schedule, even though there are only 24 programs. It's because some of these programs are just so accomplished, not just historically, but I mean, within the last calendar year, they've done so many incredible things through the pan- heading through the pandemic and, and coming out on the other side and, and trying to... Um, uh, trying to keep their programs afloat, not just surviving, but like thriving afterwards. So you look at these names, these are all names we know and love. We love their shows. We know these people. We grew up with these people. If you've been following this activity beyond high school or whatever, even if you're a parent, you know these programs. You know what they bring. You know that there's going to be awesome drum lines. You know there's going to be fantastic color guards. You know that they, some of these programs are the best playing programs in the United States, not just the state of Texas. I'm talking the entire country, probably the entire northern hemisphere, probably the planet. So this is a contest you absolutely do not want to miss. This is an incredible contest with so many wonderful programs. DFW is always intense. It's always wonderful no matter what time of the year it goes on. You're going to see some programs again, like kind of like last week, you're going to see some programs because a lot of these, a lot of these DFW programs, they performed maybe like one local contest and that's it. So you're going to see some programs that may have a full product. You're going to see some programs that may not have a full product because a lot of those 6A programs, we got to get to state. We got to go through the state contest and all that stuff. So there's time to add stuff, but at the same time, you want to try to get, you want to try to get your metrics right. You want to get that barometer. I've talked about the last two podcasts. Or shows. I don't like calling them podcasts. I'll call them shows. Uh, silly little show. Um, you want that barometer. You want to know what the judges are looking at. You want to see what they're looking at and, and, and if you need to change anything or if you need to look at anything or anything else. So that's my long-winded way of saying this contest is an absolute cannot miss. 
So either get to the stadium, marching.musicforall.org, buy tickets, or if you need to watch them online, boalive.tv, get an account, watch these bands live as they happen. I am done here. I am lucky for anybody who gets to see this because <laughs> I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be doing work stuff. I can't be there, unfortunately, but the live blog, Texas Bands live blog, will be there in person, knocking it out, live.txbands.com. Enjoy the event. Be safe. Have fun. And and for the and please enjoy how wonderful this event is. It's arguably one of the best regionals in the entire state. And we've got, I don't know, 17 of them now. So um, sit back, relax, enjoy the contest, and good luck to everybody performing at the Bands of America Dallas Fort Worth Regional. I'm done here. I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.